Can we just like take a moment to appreciate this packaging? Like this is really, really good looking. Black box, gold lettering, just looks pretty sick. Super clean, simple, good looking design. What is going on everyone and welcome back to Too Much Tech and in today's video we're going to be reviewing the Matrix and Clix Elite Series keyboard. This is Matrix's first time working with a pro Fortnite player and putting together like I guess his own custom keyboard. If you guys don't know who Clix is, he makes Fortnite videos and streams and all that good stuff. He's a Fortnite pro and I guess he's pretty popular. I never really heard of him before now but i'm kind of glad i did i watched some of his videos and a dude is like really really good and just like the high level fortnite play especially since i haven't really been playing for the better part of like a year is is totally different to watch now matrix decided to do a custom colorway with clicks and they did this black and red theme matrix elite series keyboard and it is a really good board at a pretty decent price if you're interested in this specific colorway in terms of the color options you're always going to get a red case you get the clicks logo on the left side and the matrix keyboards logo on the right side of the keyboard the usb port is on the back side of the keyboard and then you have your choice of keycaps that you want to order so you can either get the black on the exterior and the red on the interior or vice versa with red on the exterior and black on the interior so those are a couple options they're all the same price it's 115 dollars at matrixkeyboards.com i think it's plus shipping too and then you have the matching clicks mouse pad that we'll talk about in just a little bit honestly speaking i wasn't really the biggest fan of like the black and red color scheme but man like this keyboard looks really good and not to mention that you get the amazing shine through fantastic quality matrix keycaps that are just super smooth and probably some of the best shine through keycaps that you can get the case design is strikingly similar to the am pro 2 like i kid you not it's almost the same but unfortunately this keyboard is wired only it's not wireless like the am pro 2 is but on the bright side this pcb is hot swappable so my unit came with gatoron silvers if you want to try any other switches let's just say that you ordered the brown switches but you really didn't want brown switches and you really wanted speed silvers you could order something else and these do support not only only plate mount switches but also PCB mount switches so you can try any switches you can try novel keys cream you can try cherry MX reds the stabilizers aren't necessarily the best or the worst stabilizers I've ever heard it seems like they could definitely use a bit more loop from the factory that would be nice and they're not quite as good as the am pro 2 but they're not horrible either like I would say that a razor or still series keyboard is In the box you get a black switch puller and you also get a matching cable with the black and red theme as well and it has a clicks logo on it but it's not the same logo that they use on the keyboard and the mouse pad so i thought that that was kind of weird so instead i just opted to use a black and red test cable that i had on hand i'll leave it linked in the description below if you're just looking for an inexpensive matching coiled aviator cable because this is the same as the matrix elite keyboards it's just another theme and painted case and all that good stuff you can still use matrix software to configure your keyboard and set up the different layers and functions and all that good stuff it has a bit of a learning curve to it is not necessarily the most simple i'm not the biggest fan of it like it's okay but i don't love it but if you want to customize the rgb profiles on the keyboard itself you just use function and a bracket key and then next to the bracket key there's a slash key use those two keys and you can swap between the few different baked in rgb modes on the keyboard pcb without the need for software and you can assign like i said in the software a ton of different like functions and stuff like that but for me i just needed to know where the arrow keys were how the heck do i use the arrow keys is it similar to the am pro 2 is it just like a ducky it's actually very different so you use function and then you use the keys directly next to function so you can do it all with your right hand and it actually feels really natural too like i'm surprised that 
more keyboards don't do that. I like that quite a bit. In terms of typing and gaming performance, it's very, very good. Honestly speaking, like without even having loop switches, the Gatoron Speed Silvers are actually surprisingly smooth. They're not as smooth as Kale Speeds, but they're pretty close. And the fact that the Gatoron Silver switches, since they have the little box around them, is just made to be, you know, water and dust resistant and all that good stuff. Not saying that the keyboard is water and dust resistant because I'm pretty sure that it's not. But actually the keycaps on top of the switch don't wobble nearly as much as they do on just a regular stem without a switch film. The plate is white, so the RGB shines off really, really bright and super nicely. And like I said, Matrix keycaps have some of the best shine through on any keyboard, so the RGB is very light. I would say it's maybe a little bit less bright than SteelSeries RGB, but it's still very good. Believe it or not, I don't really have much more to say about this keyboard because it's pretty basic. Like, I didn't really get into using like all the custom functions and all that good stuff that you can set in the software because it was just a little bit too confusing for me and I didn't really feel like doing all that. And honestly speaking, I don't really use the extra functions and stuff at all, hardly ever, even on any other keyboard. After all the typing and gaming tests that I did, gaming is perfectly fine, especially with the Speed Silver switches, they actually super quick, but it's not too fast either. Like I feel like sometimes the Razer Huntsman could be, or the SteelSeries Apex Pro could be just a little bit too quick. Like these regular mechanical switches just feel like the sweet spot to me. I do think that if you're going for a black and red theme keyboard, a little bit of a throwback to like 2014, but back in 2014, all the keycaps were black and the only color options you have for lighting was either red or green. So I'm really glad that uh, this is kind of a little bit of a different take on the black and red color scheme that we have seen done to death. You can also order a matrix mouse pad in the same color and design as the Clix theme. So you get the Clix logo on the bottom left and you get the matrix logo on the bottom right in this crimson red theme mouse pad. It just looks so good like, i didn't think i would like a red and black setup but man the mouse pad with this keyboard and like if you have like a razor viper ultimate or something like that like it is an absolutely perfect combo it just looks so good for a super clean setup the matrix mouse pad is like my second favorite mouse pad as well so the odin is my number one favorite and the matrix is my number two and finally you can now buy readily available the matrix mouse pads for about 25 dollars so if you're gonna order something from matrix you might as well get a mouse pad too and you definitely won't regret because they have some of the best mouse pads on the market. But yeah, guys, Matrix did a really good job on this collab. The colorway is really good. I don't really even like black and red, but this looks great together. I wonder who else they're gonna be working with, what other colorways they're gonna be doing because I wanna see something else. I wanna see some greens, I wanna see some oranges. I think those colors will be really cool. Obviously not together, like do a green and some other complementing color and orange and something else. But work with somebody that has those colors and I will probably buy it. More importantly, I'm wondering when the Matrix Sector 4 is gonna come out and I'm wondering if they're gonna do any custom colorways on that other than the black and white because uh, we're already halfway through 2020 and it said that it was coming out in 2020 so you know they got till the end of the year. I wanna try it, it looks cool, it's got the light bars on the side, I mean, think about it. What if the Sector 4 come out earlier this year and they made a click Sector 4 that was red, had the light bar at the front and the back of the keyboard, I mean, I just feel like that would be sick. Excited for that to come out later this year, hopefully it does come out this year. But all right, you guys, that is gonna be it for this video. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to drop a like and subscribe if you are new to the channel. Big shout out to my boy George for letting me borrow this Clix keyboard. Thank you to him for making this review possible, so go ahead and give him a subscribe as well check out his videos if you guys are interested in the clicks keyboard i'll leave it linked below so you guys can check it out as well as the mouse pad and yeah guys that's all i got for you thank you guys so much for tuning in i will see you in the next video